What words are appropriate during this kind of unprecedented crisis? This question has been on my mind a lot lately. What words might bring hope? What songs might reassure? In which poems have I found comfort? Day after day, I've pulled out my pen and my pad to try to write that first sermonic line, to pen that pithy but punchy first phrase, to express that memorable quote that's full of wisdom and gravitas. And day after day, my mind and heart keep going back to the words of my late beloved father. He would often say this, you know, son, Life just sucks sometimes. Life just sucks sometimes. Now some might argue that these four words, this brief yet blunt sentence, expresses a profound and abiding truth. Sometimes we will hurt. Sometimes life disappoints. There are other times when nothing seems fair or just. Life can and will let us down. Jesus was similarly straightforward with his disciples. In this life, you will have trouble, he said. Well, I found myself lately identifying with the Hebrew tradition, the story of a people in exile. Those spread about, forced to disperse their homeland due to pestilence, disease, famine, and war. I can only imagine how the 6th century prophet Jeremiah felt watching his community suffer under the imperial weight of the Babylonian army. The book of Jeremiah states that other preachers and prophets stepped in declaring empty platitudes and false prophecies. There was a particular one named Hananiah who declared, God's going to turn the situation around soon and very soon. Well, Jeremiah believed that the people would survive. He felt that the situation would eventually get better. And Jeremiah even had an abiding faith that there would eventually be peace in the land. But though Jeremiah agreed with Hananiah's proposed outcomes, he disagreed with his diagnosis. Things may get worse before they get better, Jeremiah declared. You may feel stress like you've never experienced it before. The full weight of this experience is just beginning to crush down upon you. And with those words, I can imagine in that church, the music stopped, the collection plates ran dry, and the crowd was ready to run Jeremiah out of town. Nobody likes to hear that life just sucks sometimes. This is why we're often tempted to make people momentarily feel good with a lie than attempt to heal with painful truths. But Jeremiah, Jeremiah speaks honest encouragement to the people. He says, you may be in this for the long haul, so hunker down where you are. Don't merely cry about what you've lost. Think about what you might gain. Don't simply mourn what might have been, but rather pursue what still could be. This situation may not end as soon as you would like it to, but that doesn't mean that you can't find new ways right where you are to inhabit a home, better habits to cultivate, more meaningful ways to become a partner, a spouse or a parent, and more intentional methods to connect with neighbors and friends. Jeremiah tells his people Listen for God's voice where you are. Learn God's new lessons amid your exile. And then witness beauty emerge from the depths of your despair. Well, this, my friends, is a word for us today. 
we don't know how long this will last. We don't know if this is a new normal, but we know it's a now normal. So let us not miss this moment. Get out of your car and go for long walks. Cultivate your moral imaginations. Read that classic novel by Sinclair Lewis or Toni Morrison. Start that virtual book club and prayer group. Teach your parents or teach your children how to dance to DJ Nice on social media. Sing songs together before dinner. Study together on FaceTime in the wee hours of the morning. Make sure that your friends and your family know the artistry of Pete Seeger, Luther Vandross, Dolly Parton, or Aretha Franklin. Bloom right where you are planted. This is my prayer for you. This is my prayer for us. I wish I could tell you that things will be back to normal real soon on this campus, but I cannot. But I can tell you this, if we stand for one another, if we stand with one another, if we do not allow physical distancing to disrupt our social and spiritual proximity, then I believe that you and I can ultimately sing with confidence that I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. One love.